All right, so I didn't enjoy the score streak system in Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. In fact, I didn't have a lot of fun during the alpha. A lot of people seem to think that I hate the game and I'm unwilling to adapt and learn it. It really was just the alpha I didn't like, guys. Obviously, that's the only thing I played. The alpha didn't feel right in my hands because of the controller. The resolution on PlayStation looked like garbage. Even Exclusive A said it looked like 720p at times. I had weird hit detections. I had trouble learning spawns. Overall, it was not a good experience playing the alpha. But there are some gameplay things that I can take from the alpha, aside from just my personal grievances with the way the software was working and my comfortability level. No, I can actually talk about some more important aspects like the score streak system here. I didn't like the score streak system because for the first time in Call of Duty, I felt demotivated after earning a streak. Kill streaks and score streaks in Call of Duty games are nice because they are a consistent incentive. Having a minute and 30 seconds go by where I can't even earn my UAV because I just called it in feels like a punishment. Now, I've heard it was to cut down on streak spam, but I don't understand that at all as a Call of Duty player. I'm thinking to myself, well, um, no. If I go on the hard point and I, and I get enough kills to get a UAV, an artillery strike, and a napalm strike, I die on the hard point as one does. I respawn, I call in my UAV, artillery strike, and napalm strike, you've then de-incentivized me to play the objective to get kills for the next minute and 30 seconds. I don't see how that's a good thing. Gosh, maybe I should reiterate that a couple more times. In Call of Duty, I should be able to, on the hard point, earn those streaks, and then prone, hide on the hard point, call them in, and then keep firing and keep killing people to get them again that life. A minute 30 is a long time in Call of Duty, and I really don't like that for that amount of time, I'm not going to be working towards my next set of streaks. Earning streaks during the alpha felt very satisfying, very exciting, you know, oh cool, I get to call an artillery, and then I'd call it in, and the moment I looked over at the corner of my screen and saw that cooldown, I was demotivated, depressed, disappointed, I was de-incentivized to keep playing the objective and getting kills and optimizing my score. I even caught myself at times playing worse or just less assertive because I saw that my streaks were in cooldown, so my kills and deaths in my head just really didn't matter. In a game with eliminations and the EKIA system and streak cooldowns, there are gonna be large periods of time throughout each match where your team doesn't feel like they need to be on the objective. A minute 30 for you isn't terribly long, but if during your cooldown, your teammate activates their cooldown by using their streaks, and let's say they're using higher end streaks, then they have to also, for a minute and 30, gain no score towards their streaks. So there's a couple ways, Treyarch, you could fix this. You could raise the streak values, or you could make it so people gain half the score during the cooldown, so your score is essentially halved, or just disable the score multiplier during the cooldown. You could do something along those lines. You could also take away the cooldown altogether from non-lethal streaks, that would make more sense to me, at least then I can keep getting UAVs for my team. But telling me that I've earned my streak quota for the next minute 30 sucks, as somebody who's likely going to be running napalm strikes and artillery strikes in sweaty games, because in sweaty games, I don't feel like I'm going to be able to stay alive long enough to uh, accumulate enough score for a chopper gunner. I just don't feel like I am. And, and the reason I say that is because in a really sweaty game where all of my friends are trying their hardest, I'm also playing the objective, I'm also capturing flags, I'm on the hard point, I'm putting my back into it, and so I'd rather have artillery or napalm strikes, things that can't be shot down, and things that can essentially just net us free kills and free map control if I'm capable of earning them. So I'm sorry, it's frustrating to me that if I'm playing a sweaty game of hard point, I'll just paint this hypothetical again, it's annoying to me that if I'm playing hard point, and I maximize my score and I do really well and I get all my streaks and I call all them in, again, a minute and a half where nothing goes towards my next streak. Call of Duty over the years has demotivated me from wanting to get streaks in different ways. Uh, in Black Ops 4, there was the infamous problem where uh, the specialists were so rampant and they were so strong and so often you'd get hit by them but I didn't feel like going on streaks or staying alive or optimizing my survival. It didn't feel worth it. There was too many times where I'd be one off a strike team and then I would get attack dogged or I would get gravity slammed or something outside of my control, seemingly outside of my control, especially in intense games where I can't control my engagements always and I'm trying to you know, play the objective in control or domination. It was very frustrating to just get war machined off my chopper. 
Now, 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 you clicked on this video, you have to take my word for it. Even in Modern Warfare, we have a problem where the streaks don't really feel strong enough. They feel like they get shot down very quickly. Too many of the maps have so many buildings, it's really hard to optimize the amount of kills you get with like, a, let's say a gunship or sometimes even a chopper gunner. I mean, the last three chopper gunners I've gotten, and I said this months ago and this has happened again, the last three chopper gunners, four chopper gunners I've gotten, got shot down before I could really start wrecking havoc with them. And there's so many little things that can kill you so fast in Modern Warfare that it kind of makes me not play for high streaks just based in the principle of not worth my blood pressure. Call me bad if you want and fine, whatever, I'll agree with you. But the thing is, is that at least in Modern Warfare, I'm always working towards that next streak. When I die and respawn, I'm not worried about getting that next streak. Another problem that Modern Warfare did have though is that your streaks wouldn't loop during your life. So if you called in all your streaks, you'd have to die in order to get your streaks again. But in sweaty objective game modes, especially on smaller maps, you're really not going to be going you know, flawless. So it's not really un unheard of that you might die after you get your VTOL. So it's, it's sort of difficult to balance streaks, I know. But I really wish we had a support score streak system that had a bunch of non-lethal stuff like CUAVs, UAVs, uh, maybe the most lethal thing they could have in there is like a shield turret equivalent. Then you have a specialist score streak system where your streaks end up becoming perks. I think that'd be great, but you still have to use score to earn them. And then normal score streaks where they are lethal, they're powerful, and they reset when you die. It'd be cool if you could mix and match all of those even. So maybe your first streak gives you a perk, your second one gives you a support UAV, which will never reset when you die. That streak is always being progressed towards. And then your third streak could be a lethal, let's say attack chopper. And that thing does reset when you die. So you'd have a perk, a support streak, and a kill streak essentially that all require score active at the same time. But maybe I'm getting a little too creative for my own good. What I'm saying is that the score streak system in Cold War felt demotivating. It felt de-incentivizing and I'm not a fan of it. I don't want it. And that's my final opinion on the subject. It's a bad band-aid fix to a change they did that didn't need to happen in the first place. Much like Modern Warfare's minimap, it wasn't broken. You didn't need to change it. The idea of score streaks persisting, but then having a multiplier isn't the worst thing in the world because at least that is a clear sign from the developers that they want you to maximize your score and play hard for your streaks and not worry too much about dying. That's a great concept unless it comes with a backhanded approach of de-incentivizing the players after they end up getting to those streaks. It's bullshit. I hear so many people saying, oh, I was getting chopper gunners almost every game, but are you able to get more than one chopper gunner per game? Like realistically in a 6v6 game, are you capable of getting more than one? I mean, skill-wise, you might be capable, but with that minute and 30 cooldown, yikes, I don't think you're gonna be able to. Even if you are good enough to get multiple chopper gunners a game, the game makes that exponentially harder by having this cooldown system. So at the very least, killstreaks that cost over 5,000 points shouldn't have a cooldown because it's gonna take so long to get to them anyway. Even though I'm not the best at going on streaks, I like the potential of being able to do so without roadblocks. This is an unnecessary roadblock. So that's my point reiterated over and over again, multiple different ways with several different examples. If it doesn't make sense, I don't know what will. See you when I see you. Sorry for wasting your time if you don't like any sort of reiteration. It's just that my comment section always seems to misunderstand me unless I lay my point out several times in several different ways. See you when I see you, goodbye!